Welcome to Bald Guy DIY. In this video, I'm using some cheap dollar store lights, hacking them apart, and turning them into a solar power supply for the lamp I made in the last video. In the last video, I used a set of battery powered string lights in order to make the water drop lamp. But in this video, I'd like to take that a little bit further because I don't always want to be replacing batteries and I'd much rather have a solar solution that charges during the day when the sun is out and then runs at night off the batteries from the power that's been stored. In this video, I'm gonna take some inexpensive lights from the dollar store and turn them into a solar power supply for my water drop lamp. Let's get started. I picked up a few garden solar lights from the dollar store and they really are a simple little device. Most of what it is is a plastic piece, clear to let the light shine through and black rod to support it. And you can see really we're just gonna keep the cap. Inside the cap are the components that we're looking for. squeezed it a little bit to create some separation and then used a screwdriver to pop it open. Inside you can see the solar panel connected and the small circuit board inside. I'm going to measure the voltage coming off of one of the individual solar panels and find it to be between one and one and a half volts. So very similar to a double A or triple A battery. Next I'm going to desolder the solar panel from the circuit board so that I'll be able to remove it from the cap as the wires feed through. Next, I'm gonna remove the circuit board from the remaining piece of the cap. There's just one screw there, and then it pulls apart. And there's the circuit board with the exposed component. Now really, there's only a battery, LED, charge controller, switch, and resistor on the board. Next, I need to get the solar panel off of the cap, and to do that, I'm just gonna chip away with a pair of side cutters and remove the excess plastic. There's a double-sided sticky tape that holds it onto the cap, so really just need to get under there and then eventually pry it up and pull the wires through. A little hot glue as well, holding the wires in place, and you can see there's the sticky pad, and then where our little solar panel is exposed. Now if I check once again to make sure it's still working, I am indeed getting between one and one and a half volts, depending how much light is showing on the panel at a time. To show how you can combine these to create more voltage, I'm simply gonna connect them in series, positive to negative, positive to negative. So three jumpers in between, and all four of them will be connected in one series circuit. To do that, we'll be combining the voltages so that that one to one and a half volts will be added together. And our final reading, 3.9 volts with the light shining on it. Next, I'm gonna desolder my battery pack from my previous lamp project so that we can test out this solar panel and see if it does the trick. I wanted to make sure that worked and then I was getting 3.9 volts on it as well. So now I'm going to attach the leads from the solar panels and then shine some light on it and we'll see what we get. I lay them out here on the rocks and now I'm gonna shine some light onto it We do see a faint glow with the LEDs inside the watering bulb. Now I've removed the LEDs and connected up the solar panels back to the boards. Now I'm going to add jumper wires so that we'll be able to connect it all up in series. Again, that's gonna combine the voltages of the panel and it's also going to combine the voltages of the battery so that once the batteries are charged and it's running on battery power, then it's gonna supply us 3.9 to 4.5 volts instead of one to one and a half volts. These little solar lights are quite ingenious because they're really just a solar panel and a battery, but there's a little charge controller there that turns the light on only when it's not getting a good enough supply from the solar panel. In that respect, it only shines in the darkness and when it's bright outside, the light is off and the battery is recharging. You're gonna see it function together as one panel but with a higher voltage. So now that I've got it all hooked up, I'm gonna leave it out in the sun for a couple of days 
and see how long it can really power the water drop lamp for. My expectation is that I'm probably only gonna get about 30 minutes, but I'd like to try it and see how it turns out. Now, if I wanna take this to the next level, I would get a solar panel online and some rechargeable batteries so that the amount of power produced is much greater and also the storage capacity of it is greatly increased. I'll leave links in the description so you can check that out. And after I get a chance to play with it, I'll also leave an update in the description to let you know how it turned out. If you like the videos we're making, please consider subscribing, share with the creative people in your life, leave us a comment below, tell us uh, what you'd like to see down the road or a project you'd like to see us tackle. And remember, with all your bright ideas, don't be afraid to be balder.